Hello and welcome. Let's talk about inhalation injury. So, what does it mean by inhalation injury? Inhalation injury is caused, caused by the minute particles within thick smoke which because of the small size are not filtered by the upper airway but are carried down to the lung parenchyma. They stick to the moist lining cause an intense reaction in the alveoli. Causes Inhalation of heat, noxious gases and incomplete products of combustion. At the site of fire, oxygen concentration is less than 2% which can cause death in 45 seconds due to hypoxia. Inhaled carbon monoxide and smoke which contains hydrocyanide which causes tissue hypoxia and profound acidosis. Clinical features. They have low oxygen saturation, chairing of mouth, oropharynx with facial bonds, carbon sputum, change in the voice, decreased level of consciousness with or dyspnea, acute pulmonary insufficiency with asphyxia, and after 3 to 5 days, ARDS and hypoxia develops, and broken pneumonia with septicemia occurs after 5 days. So, warning signs of bond to the respiratory system. Bones around the face and neck, a history of being trapped in the burning room, change in voice and stutter. Management Replacing the patient from the site earliest, ventilator support for several weeks, antibiotics, bronchoscopy at regular intervals to remove bronchial cast, tracheostomy whenever required, hyperbaric oxygen, IV heparin to reduce bronchial cast, heparin nebulization, hypertonic saline inhalation induces the effective coughing to remove casts. Racemic epinephrine is used to reduce mucosal edema and monitoring the passage with arterial blood gas analysis regularly. Complications of inhalation injury. Early complications include laryngeal edema and laryngospasm, bronchial edema and bronchospasm, formation of bronchial cast, and inhaled gas which causes superbiotic airway bone, laryngeal edema, and others. The late complications are bacterial pneumonia, chemical pneumonitis, atelectasis, pulmonary edema, pulmonary embolism, and pneumothorax. End of the topic.